How do police or hackers track your phone? The Hollywood movie fans will see this scene thousands of times, by tracking cell phones, the police find the criminals, and many offenders drop their phone worth millions of money into the water after the crime, without being tracked. Not only to find criminals, but even if your expensive phone is lost, tracking is necessary. But is police really able to find you on your phone, or is it possible to reach the culprit by tracking the phone? Can hacker track your phone? I will discuss cell phone tracking in detail and know how to be saved from tracking. 1. Cell phone tracking So what is cell phone tracking? Use some technology to find the physical location of the person with cell phones or cell phones. Now why is it, of course, to find a wanted person or to find the phone? Currently. Cell phones are so busy with our lives that it is used until it starts to wake up from sleep. Bigger deals and bigger offenses are now being done through cell phones. As expected, many criminals are now able to catch up with cell phone tracking. However, the hacker can also track you illegally, access all the data on your phone illegally and you can cause damage. So there are two advantages and disadvantages of tracking, let's know all the things in step by step. 2. Cell phones and cells. To better understand cell phone tracking, it is necessary to understand fully how the cell phone works. In our country, only the police or legal forces have the legality of cell phone tracking. The general public or you do not have the right to track any phone I want to. If a criminal is suspected then the decision to track his cell phone is accepted. Most of the time, while tracking in our country, the police accept the help of the cell operator. And the operators agreed to help the police without hesitation. The police want to know the number of callers call records, registration names, latest phone numbers, and operators help to provide this information. If the criminal has registered his SIM card using his real name and address, then it is no longer late to identify him, but whoever calls him more than the criminal's call records, contacting them is also available to get information about the offender. Now turn out to find the physical location of the criminal and catch him and burn him in jail. Offenders usually drop or delete the SIM, number of the offense, but the phone is used most of the time. And if he uses that phone, even if he is using another SIM or other operator SIM, it is possible to track him. Initially, I my number of criminal phone is taken from the numbered number of the offender's police. The operator that you are using, your operator has a description about your phone and of course your phone has an I my number. You can also tell the fingerprint of a phone to the I my number, why do not you call anywhere using your phone, your I my data goes there. Now the perpetrator will usually use a SIM or separate operator SIM on his phone. So whatever the SIM he is using, the operator will have to go to his IMI number. Now the police will ask more different operators to call the IMI number of the accused phone, whether the IMI phone is being used in their operators. Operators will easily provide this information to the police, if the phone is available in an operator, then the current number used on the phone is also given to the police. And when the police gets the current number of criminals, say 50% of the work is done. Now the attempt to get his current location from the criminal cell phone is to be tried. When you turn on the phone, your phone tries to communicate with your SIM cell immediately, to get a signal. Your phone receives signals from multiple towers or cells at once, but the closest and string signal is connected to a cell found. Your operator can easily say, your phone is currently connected to the cell tower at any of their locations. If you have used Teletalk SIM before, you must have noticed, show the location of the tower on the phone, I still do not know whether this system exists. However, it is possible to estimate the location of the user's phone signal and its location with information from other towers around them. There are no signals from the three towers around the perpetrator and the location of the triangle on the signal is imagined to try to know the location. Although it is not possible to know the 100% correct location in this system, there are many good ideas. Now maybe you think, 
If you make the phone a criminal airplane mood, Keep in mind that the cell phone operating system has two aspects, one aspect connected to your phone and network and another aspect is your phone's user interface. As much as you can see in the user interface, your phone is in airplane mode, but your phone still receives ping from the network. If you want the network then you can get important location information from the phone. When the phone is turned on, Force 2G is turned on, in Kenna 2G encryption is very weak so the police can easily get more useful information from that phone. 3. GPS Tracking GPS phones on your phone are a lot more helpful for cell phone tracking. If the criminal uses a smartphone and if the GPS is set up then the police work becomes much easier. If the GPS is available, then the location of the phone is possible without contacting the cell operator. The police have some system set up through which they track the location with access to the phone's GPS. But police of different countries adopt different methods of GPS tracking. There are direct satellite access to large countries, so they get information easily. The phone receives signals from a GPS satellite. Our country's police generally do GPS tracking in both ways. First of all, if the criminal phone is a smartphone, but normally it will be Android, then the police tried to get access to the Gmail ID that was logged in. Google has saved your phone's location history. There are also options to track Google's phone again. So when you get control over the Google account, cell phone tracking becomes easy. If it is not possible to get into Google account control, then the cell operator is contacted again. There are other options in each GPG phone, which is known as a GPS. Suppose you are in a place where there is not enough room for GPS satellites to make your location perfect, then your phone takes the help of a GPS. A GPS basically your mobile operator offers you this service to make your GPS location accurate. As a result, your operator also has your location information. Moreover, the more you use the latest cell phone technology, the faster you can track it. For example, if you use 4G, then it is possible to get your exact location. If the criminal's MAC address gets police in some way, then by opening a website he will also open his location. 4. Hacker Attack I discussed so much, police and criminals. But you may also have tracking of normal people phones like mine. Now you or mister is not a criminal, but the criminal hacker can track your phone to spoil your privacy. Not only your phone track, but also your phone's call records, messages, contact lists, emails, bank accounts, online accounts, etc. Everything can be controlled by them and you will not get any advice. Hackers basically deceive you and install malware on your phone, this type of malware is also known as spyware. These programs are designed in such a way that it can work in your phone system and you can access all your information to hackers. Emailing you, from the website, making fake calls, or the hacker can physically injure this malware on your phone. Again you have downloaded an app for another job yourself, but it may steal your information. Spyware apps are valid on one hand, when the parent is tracking their child's cell phone activity to track them, it's okay. There are many such software that is specially designed for parents. But hackers use this issue for bad things. Maybe they can collect your information and blackmail you. 5. How to survive cell phone tracking. Here I will not share any living tips about the police and criminals, because there is no place for me for criminals. But if you are a normal person and want to avoid hacking rack and cell phone tracking, this article can be useful to you. Firstly, use a security lock on your phone, which is also known as lock screen lock. Maybe someone near you has installed a malware on your phone, to track your phone. Secondly, do not root your phone anymore, for such applications, for the most part of the app, rooting the access to the phone is demanded. Thirdly, 
Do not open any unwanted mail or message and do not click on any link or attachment with it. Before opening the mail, please verify that it was not supposed to come to you. Do not believe in any vouchers offering mail. Fourthly, avoid downloading an app from any source other than the Google Play Store. You can use the Amazon Store, but check out before using any App Store, how popular it is. Fifthly, check the permissions of the apps before installing the app on the phone or by installing it, but do not forget that it has given permission for permissions. Suppose you have downloaded a photo editor app, normally the photo editor app wants the permissions of the phone's camera, mic, files etc. But if the app is waiting for permission to send messages, emails, contacts, etc., then you can find other alternative apps rather than using the app. Once you have entered the malware on your phone, you will be able to access your phone even if you are off the phone. There is also malicious software called Kinona Phone Off, on Hijack. However, to ensure maximum security, work on the following intellectuals and keep the security practices going. And if you are a criminal and if you have a police or FBI on your back, then your forehead is really bad. Today or tomorrow you will have to be caught, so ask your conscience before committing crime, and stay away from crime. Last word so have you ever been caught by cell phone tracking, did someone try to track your phone illegally? Let us tweed down everything. And from this article you must know how many tracking is complete and how to protect your phone from being tracked. I hope you like a lot.